Prior now is timing out the arrival of some different elements today. It is, and now you guys want me getting some breakfast at Jives in Colorado City. It's got me thinking about eating down there. But out the door this morning, if you were going to stop and get some coffee, it's going to be a little breezy. But if you're going through then the lunch hour, things get windier. So we are going to track 50 to 70 mile per hour wind gusts into the afternoon. Now, we are forecasting some fairly widespread fire danger. It's going to be along the interstate and everybody east. Why aren't the mountains seeing fire danger if they have the stronger wind? Well, because the humidity won't be low enough and there's also still a little bit more snow tucked in and around a few places, but it's more so the humidity not meeting the threshold. We know the heavy mountain snow is already falling in the continental divide. I 70s a mess and Wolf Creek Pass is closed. Now again, the winds are much more widespread than the fire danger because the wind warnings include our mountains, our valleys from Alamosa to Westcliff to the Sangre de Cristos to the wet mountains themselves. Springs, Pueblo, Trinidad and East will get really windy. We're just picking it up as the day goes along. It's only 617, so it's still fairly gusty this early in the day in our mountains and valleys. Walsenburg, one of those gap flow areas, also very windy. I got to think between Pueblo and Trinidad, CDOT will consider a travel advisory for semi trucks because they anytime it's over 50 miles per hour, you always kind of worry that they're going to tip over. A lot of times we'll look at our CDOT camera or we'll send our Pueblo photographer Carl down near Walsenburg in Colorado City and he'll just see semis kind of lined up on the side of the road. And through the daytime today, that may be the case, just kind of waiting things out. The problem with today, this is what some of the maximum gusts could be. It'll be windy for like a really long stretch. Wind warnings kind of kick in today by the mid to late morning and then they'll last through about eight, nine o'clock. So that's a long time of waiting if trucks have to pull over. We know through Colorado Springs between noon to six o'clock is kind of the six hour corridor of our strongest winds. Pretty nice tomorrow, not as much wind. In Pueblo at noon, all the way through four, five, six o'clock, same deal, that six hour corridor of 50 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts. Remember, Fire danger today, confined to the plains. And it's also where we're going to see a lot of blowing dust, so low visibility in that regard, and tumbleweeds blowing around outside. Temperatures today are warm due to the downsloping flow. Jumps me to my Super 7A forecast where we're looking at 50s on Thursday and then some scattered showers Friday. It does seem like we get a little bit of light snow on Sunday. So temperatures will cascade through the weekend. Sunday, I'm not going to lie to you, the snow doesn't look very promising, but it is kind of the, the strongest chance I was finding. Pueblo, windy and dry today. We know that we could see an isolated shower or a sprinkle on Friday and maybe a little rain and snow on Sunday. Like I said, not overly sold on Sunday's moisture, but we do see a chance just a shower possible Friday and then cold on Sunday Canyon City with a little rain to snow. But Woodland Park, we could see at least some flurries the next two days. Even today, a little snow could blow into town and then we see a better snow chance on Sunday.